What is up guys? And I am Randy, and today we are doing an update to my two card combo turn skip blue eyes chaos max dragon deck. Now this deck it of course does have the OTK style of Chaos Max, you know, 8k damage through something, blow it up, done. But this has a little spicy thing where you can literally, I mean, if your opponent makes you go first, because after they figure out what you're doing, or if you want just to show it off going first, if you go first, you can skip your opponent's completely, uh, I say complete, uh, I, say, I say skip your opponent's complete first turn, so, and then kill them on your next turn. So, so, so without further ado, let's just get into this. Uh, deck profile. Now, of course, because it is Blue Eyes Chaos Max, we are rocking, of course, the OTK machine himself. Uh -huh. The best card in Yu-Gi-Oh, honestly, no. Um, I say all means aside, though, he is a cool boss monster, of course. He's he's obviously nostalgia bait. Uh, it's Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon. Like him, he, he alone, he's just an iconic card. Now, on top of that, of course, the next iconic card is uh, three Blue Eyes White Dragons. Now, he's mostly in here for your advanced ritual and chaos, uh, I say ritual target, so... Nothing too much. On the occasion, if you have some weird grindy game against a rogue matchup, you can summon him out. But besides that, he's just here for the nostalgia factor. And, of course, our fodder for our ritual spells. Uh, one blue eyes alternative. Searchable, so you don't really have to worry about it. Uh, and just a good special summon for your rank 8 engine if it comes to that. But, say, say mostly don't got to it. And then, of course, one Chaos Levianir. Uh, showing off the OCG ulti, of course, because I love ultimate rares. It's cool. because And also we rock him because there's lots of light and dark, so we can easily get him out. So it helps out our rank 8 engine easily. But that pretty much it is it for our dragon-ish engine. Now we're going to go to our more like ritual-based style engine. Uh, of course, now we have the main piece. Uh, See, so, so one of the main pieces is we have a Matt Fork Door Pain, the Imagination, Draco Overlord. I don't know, this card I don't think is like one of the most underrated cards in Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, it's crazy. Um, of course, you can special summon it. Also, it, as soon as he's Ritual Summon, your opponent skips their next main phase one. So, right there, they have to go in their battle phase. Unless they have evenly, you're pretty much set. But, also, because also Master Rule 5 is a new thing this year, and I pointed out this in my last update with this profile, uh, he's unaffected by the effects of Fusion, Synchro, and Exceed Monsters, so... So he has a little build on protection with there is also pretty cool. Then of course he has the uh, say a, a floating effect where if he gets pop you can add some Draco Overlord monster from your deck your hand. But of course we're not using that part because it's not a Draco deck. But definitely two of those guys because it's awesome. Now of course incantations, best ritual engine in my opinion. I love it. Um, Chalice slime ditches it off, searches stuff. Uh, good. Uh, uh, what is the spell? It's a good I say preparational right target. So definitely helps with that. So. Definitely uh, two of them. And now the main incantations you really want to see. Uh, two of Talismandra, of course, fetches your ritual monster. Pretty good. Uh, Candal does the same, fetches your ritual spells. And then if we have a grind game, we have Bookstone and Pencil Plume for the say, recursion for your ritual monsters and your ritual spells. So that is it for the incantations and also the monsters. Now we're going to go with your spells. Uh, your main searcher for the deck is, of course... Uh, Say Melody, it's your main searcher. It's also a good uh, hand trap bait, of course. I mean, of course, if they don't tra uh, hand trap this, this is, it just makes your deck plus so much. Uh, uh, three trade in, of course, draw power, draw power, draw power. You, you, you want to dig your combo pieces right away and get going. Uh, your ritual spells, two chaos forms, of course, for your uh, say blue eyes chaos max. And of course, advanced ritual art for your chaos max, of course, and also your, uh, say, a math fact or pain, so... Definitely good there. Then, of course, pre-prep. This is a way, basically, just a searcher for your searcher. And also brings back your ritual spells if a grind game happens or something weird. Um, one, Monster Reborn, because it's Monster Reborn. It's, a, it's like generic. It's amazing. It's Monster Reborn, like nothing else said. Uh, more draw. Two Pot of Desires. Um, lots of three ofs. Don't care if we banish a bunch of stuff. Uh, it's a plus one, so why not? One upstart because a 39 deck is better. Then one Dragon's Mirror in case we do want to fusion and go some classic Blue Eyes plays and just bring out our big OTK fusion monsters. But that is it for the spells. Now we're going to go into traps. Yes, traps in a Blue Eyes Chaos Max deck. I know it's crazy. Uh, three trap trick. This is going to be searching out the main trap we want to get. Of course, trap trick searches your normal traps. Uh, then, of course, our main trap is... Uh, Thunder of, of Ruler. This is your secondary combo piece that goes in hand in hand with your MF Act or Pain. Um, these two cards alone are a full on turn skip for your opponent. Of course, MF Act or Pain, as I highlighted earlier. If he is Ritual Summon, skips your opponent's next main phase one. 
Of course, cool. But Thunder Ruler is during your opponent's standby phase, so activate it then. Don't forget that. Don't miss timing with this thing. <laughs> um, if you, uh, so you can activate this card, and there is no battle phase that turn. So you skip your opponent's battle phase completely. Now, of course, if you want, you can also, if you want to increase the consistency, um, Threatening Roar is a good thing too, but I, I think that has to be on Tech Declaration, but it also skips battle phase. Uh, just anything, but Thunder Ruler in this just full-on turn skip because they can't conduct their main phase too because they had no battle phase that turn, and since they had no main phase, they just draw and pass pretty much. So, so that is uh, it for the main deck. Uh, now we're going to go to our extra deck. Our extra deck is just, just pretty much fusions and rank 8 exceeds. Of course, Lancelot. He's just a cool, gen like, generic negation. He's pretty cool. Uh, he can attack directly, so... He's nice. Uh, Dengir, so we could hard summon this bad boy. Um, just an insane card. I mean, Orcus played him for a reason. Like, he's he's good for a reason. Um, our... Uh, it's a heretic son. He's just our big board blow-up guy. He just wants to blow everything up. And just OTK, something problematic on the board that we really don't like to deal with. Uh, pop it. Um, one, drag... Let's say, drag bullion. Um... He just helps out with the Satakion Galaxy OTK combo, so definitely good there. And of course, Galaxy. Here we go with all the Galaxy cards. Um, Galaxy is full armored. Galaxy Cipher Blade. Um, Galaxy's Neo. Galaxy Ice Tachyon. Now this, I guess you can bring it out with, uh, say, Drag Bullion. Standard plays. I mean, just crazy. And then of course, more Galaxy cards. Uh, Normal Tachyon to summon off the Drag Bullion. Um, number sixty-two to summon off on them if you want to go that route. And, of course, the Cypher Dragon, because it's fun to take your opponent's stuff. Um, that is it for the uh, Galaxy Eyes. Oh, actually, no, we have, actually, uh, Galaxy Eyes Photon Lord. Um, Monster Negation is fun. It's just another negation you can uh, get out if you open a hand where you can just spam rank X seeds and want to go for more of a, a control st a strategy to stall and help out or just survive turn uh, one if your, say, normal combo doesn't st uh, uh, happen. So, definitely him. Of course, Titanic Galaxy. He's just your spell negation. Uh, spells, uh, see Blue Eyes Twin Burst. He comes up, especially if you open up Dragon's Mirror or just have Blue Eyes on the field. Uh, of course, with Neo, a Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon as well, and also Blue Eyes Alternative Ultimate Dragon. Um, he's good because if you make him, he gets pop. He has protection in the graveyard. He can protect stuff with, but he also just OTKs and also Alternative just blows up boards and just goes for games anyway. I mean, they're forty five hundred. They're going to be going for game. I mean, if you summon these guys anyway, you're most likely winning anyway. But that's just it. But that has been it for the updated um, Blue Eyes Chaos Max uh, deck profile. It really wants to go second. I mean, I mean, it really wants to go first, so it can set up the the fun little turn skip combo that we have with, uh, say, Math Work Door Pain and Thunder of Ruler. But this has been the update. I mean, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe like always. I say this video is a little bit shorter because I figured everyone knows what Blue Eyes Chaos Max is known for and does by now, so. I figured not to go into every detail about the deck because it's been widely uh, said. But say, but but always stay safe, stay healthy out there. Um, just you see, be good people. <laughs> but until my next video, bye bye.